is no longer a cliche. Football is big business. In fact, humongous business. And over the next four weeks, we'll get a daily reminder of that. As 32 of the world's best teams gather in Qatar to contest the Football World Cup, several brands would be competing for attention on billboards in stadiums, on television sets, through adverts, and via multiple high-profile digital campaigns. The attention of adoring football fans, the customers in this case, may be heavily fixated on likes of Messi, Ronaldo, Dede Ayu, but in many boardrooms, they would be crunching the numbers the World Cup would be churning out in terms of business. The numbers relating to the World Cup is staggering. World football governing body FIFA will pay a total price of $440 million for the competition. The winner will walk away with $44 million. This is in addition to payments FIFA makes to every participating country, appearance fees, marriage-based payments, among others. So besides the thrill of hearing the national anthem, what's in for Ghana? Whichever way we look at revenue and expenditure commitments for Qatar 2022, the benefits of playing in the World Cup far outstrip the expenditure with several other unquantified quantifiable benefits. The Ghana Football Association is guaranteed $10.5 million by the end of the group stage, which covers three matches. 1.5 million of this is paid by FIFA towards preparations and $9 million as appearance fees. They are not the only ones who benefit. FIFA will pay out $209 million to 416 clubs during the tournament. Clubs including Accra Hearts of Folk and Asante Kotoko will earn $10,000 for every day their Feye Barnier and Danlad Ibrahim, who are in the Ghana squad, remains at the competition and during the preparatory period. It is a huge incentive for clubs. Well, the FIFA World Cup certainly means uh, big, big money. Now, FIFA relies on the FIFA World Cup to pull in a significant chunk of its financing. If you look, for instance, at FIFA's numbers, um, this past financial year, if you look at their, their earnings, they brought in something around $766 million. That's quite a bit of money, right? But then if you look at their uh, World Cup cycle, 2015 to 2018, which is the last World Cup cycle, FIFA brought in something in the region of 4.6 billion US dollars. So that just tells you the discrepancy in the amount of money. If you look at 4.6 in the World Cup cycle, 766 in 2021, which was a known World Cup year, it just tells you just how reliant FIFA is on the World Cup. As the years have gone by, the money accrued by FIFA from the World Cup has increased. Bloomberg predicts the 2022 World Cup will top the $5.4 billion FIFA generated from the competition in 2008. This year's competition is also expected to attract 2 million fans in person, more than the previous World Cup. And FIFA reckons the game will reach an audience of 5 billion, cementing its place as the most televised event in the world. So how exactly does FIFA generate money from the World Cup? Sports journalist Michael Otieje explains. The money for FIFA, as far as the World Cup is concerned, comes in the traditional ways. There are three key areas. One will come from ticket sales. Then there is television revenue, which is the biggest source. Several countries, several territories will pay billions of dollars uh, to be able to show the World Cup to an audience. And then there is an added stream for FIFA of running on YouTube, running on Facebook, and the revenue that they will generate from that. And then there is the sponsorship. Over three tournaments, Ghana has made around $35 million from the World Cup since 2006. So what exactly has the impact of football been? Sadiq Adam thinks not a lot. And in the case of Ghana, we've been to three World Cups and nothing substantial or significant can be said in terms of developmental projects or policies or infrastructure that the country has um, used this World Cup um, money for uh, in terms of um, developing the game. And this is mostly because the authorities at the Federation or at the Ministry think that this is money for them and this is money uh, for them to decide what it might be used for. One thing is obvious. Over the next one month, we'll not only be engrossed in the greatest sporting competition in the world, we'll also be contributing a huge business venture with mammoth profit margins.